You guys, I just got back from some intense traveling in Europe and sometimes when I'm doing hardcore fashion one stuff, I do feel a little bit jaded, insecure, and honestly at times it's a bit hard on my mental health. But I felt like this season was different, you know, a um, couple of things that helped my mental health were like meditating, even if it's just for 10 minutes a day, working out regularly, well, I'm gonna be honest, I only worked out once during this whole trip, <laughs> but I did walk a lot. And last but not least, regular therapy helps my mental health a lot. You know, just like working out regularly, I've been doing therapy once a week consistently, and I see such a huge improvement when I, you know, check in with my therapist. So I'm grateful to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. And honestly, the hardest part about therapy is starting. The right therapist might not be available in your area, and I think some people might find the face-to-face -face interaction of therapy a bit uncomfortable which is why I like BetterHelp since you can have your therapy sessions as a phone call, as a video chat, or even, you know, via messaging if that's what you prefer and, you know, whatever's the most comfortable version of therapy for you. So when you sign up with BetterHelp to look for a therapist, you'll fill out this pretty extensive questionnaire to help assess your specific needs and then you'll get matched with a therapist usually in less than 48 hours. BetterHelp has over 30,000 therapists in their network, which gives you access to a wider range of expertise that might be available in your area, and you can schedule therapy sessions at a time that's convenient for you. Let's say the therapist you're first matched with doesn't feel like the right fit, and you know, it can happen, there's nothing wrong with that. You can easily switch to a new therapist at no additional cost without stressing about insurance, who's in your network, or you know anything like that. Over 4 million people have used BetterHelp to start living a healthier, happier life. If you might think you might benefit from therapy, I highly recommend BetterHelp. You can click on the description link below or go to betterhelp.com slash song of style where you can get 10% off your first month. Okay, so let's dive into my Paris Fashion Week. Yeah. Yeah. We're going so. Your invitation. Okay. I have my powder. Okay, powder. powder. I have glasses. Here, I saw something. Else. Um, bad, we have, bad habits. No, we have bad habits bad there. Habits. We okay. have, um, a, you know, a little Hermes You Beauty, Miss Tina, of yes. course. Tina Craig. And then a little breath spray. Breath spray. You're so smart. Breath spray. But I have two. So this is minty, not minty. Here's my look for acne, and look at my blush. Blazer, not blazer, jacket, leather jacket. Just like zips up, down, opens up. Kind of like biker chic. We're going to usher after acne. Do I do sunglasses? Doesn't mm -hmm. go with my heels, but it's kind of like badass. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> and then I got these fun earrings from Acne. Really badass. Oh my 
Finally, we're gonna get this. Your Coelho. My Coelho. My princess. But it's supposed to be 82 degrees tomorrow. Look at the thickness of this pack. Like the other look was much more major, no? Yeah. Can you say hello? Oh. Are you pooping? Are you pooping, Kaka? Oh. 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 oh, you look like a big boy. Oh. I know. I miss you. Two more days and we'll be there. No. no. Yes. 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 No. wear my underwear underneath because these are samples underwear uno oh wait actually no i'm sorry i have to wear the tight first uh oh i feel a snag here it broke uh oh what do i do i don't think it covers does it cover totally not that's my look next look layered look okay it covers my butt i think nobody let's like you won't show much Last day of Paris Fashion Week, I am staying at the Plaza Athene and eating my favorite croissant. So every single day, they refresh our pastry basket. And my favorite one is definitely the hazelnut pan au chocolat. It's so good. So I've been eating two of these every day. But what I do is I just really eat the middle part where the chocolate is and the top part where the hazelnuts are. And it is so bombdiggity.com. And my favorite way of eating this is definitely 
with coffee or espresso, I dip it in. Dip in a little bit. Oh, and then it's warm, so it's so good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This Paris Fashion Week feels a little different because I'm not doing as many shows, I'm being very selective, but at the same time, I've actually had so many beautiful moments, especially like walking around. I love walking around, especially with Jakub Moski. I'm so grateful that he is here. I'm so grateful that we get to stay at the beautiful Plaza Hotel. This is my favorite hotel in the whole wide world. It's insane. Um, the people are so nice. I feel like this season, I appreciate everything a little bit more. And I also feel very mature. I think compared to a lot of people, I kind of matured a little bit slower. I do feel like there are a lot of moments where I feel so immature. And this season, I don't know, I feel maybe it's because I'm a mom. My head space is just in a different space. And I just feel much more relaxed much more appreciative less stress i used to feel very insecure too like whenever i go to events in september in paris there's always that one gala that everybody is dying to go to which is the business of fashion gala and i always feel insecure because you know so many big names are there this season i was like whatever <laughs> so i don't feel as insecure anymore and i think the other thing is i stopped putting my self-worth on like recognition and the recognition acknowledgement can come in different ways or different forms such as like instagram likes instagram views or follower count or whatever or what events you're getting invited to what shows you're sitting front row at and i stopped basing my worth on that and i think that has been such a big relief i do care a lot still about other people's opinion unfortunately but i think i don't base my self value and worth anymore on that so maybe that's why i feel much more relaxed and chill so it's actually a good place to be and i think when you become a mom you realize like the most important thing in life is really your family the happiness like those things give me so much more happiness and joy and they mean so much more to me than other things so i don't know i'm just in a really good mental space at the moment but if you ask me tomorrow the week after i don't know what i'll say because sometimes i go through different things <laughs> Oh, oops. <laughs> but...